the vast expanse of the cosmos there lie enigmatic entities shrouded in darkness and mystery, black holes. These celestial behemoths, so dense that not even light can escape their gravitational pull, have long been the subject of fascination and dread. Yet they remain elusive, hidden behind an invisible veil, their secrets locked away. We have considered them ten mortals, these black holes unknown, always hidden, a mystery that remained unsolved. But now, a new era of exploration has begun. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology, has dared to peer closer than ever before, collecting data that could potentially reveal the hidden truths within these cosmic enigmas. What the telescope discovered challenges everything we thought we knew about black holes, and the implications are staggering. They are a layered monster, not the bottomless pits we once imagined. Each layer is larger than the previous one, a complex structure that turns black holes from mysterious objects into complex, detailed phenomena. The first layer is the event horizon, the outer shell of a black hole, a cosmic point of no return. Nothing, not even light, can break out once it crosses this invisible border. This is not a wall, and you will not feel it if you pass it. But outside, time seems to be stopping in this region. As astrophysicist Keptorn once said, the event horizon is a singularity of space. It is a place in time. Once you find yourself inside, your fate is a foregone conclusion. Beyond the event horizon lies the accretion disk, a twisting storm formed immediately beyond the event horizon. It consists of gas and dust drawn inside, heated to millions of degrees, illuminating the area with bright X-ray radiation. This is how we discover black holes. We see how this disk shines before matter disappears, like the beam of a lighthouse before the light is extinguished. Above the event horizon we find the innermost stable circular orbit, the veil sphere. This is an area just above the event horizon, where gravity is strong enough to hold light in orbit. This is not a place where you would like to be. The light does not break out, it endlessly winds, distorting and rotating. If you somehow soared there, you would see your nape bent by a curved space. And even deeper, we approach the singularity, a point where gravity becomes endless and the space is completely collapsing. We do not know what really exists there. This is a real point of endless density or something else. Some theories suggest that this can be not only a point of infinite density, but a tightly packed nucleus called a strip star, built of quantum threads. But what is the catch? No information can leave it, so we can never recognise this. Black holes. This is the place where God divides by zero, as physicist Stephen Wright said. This complex structure of layers turns black holes from mysterious objects into complex, detailed phenomena. But in order to truly understand them, we need to trace their roots. Because these giants of gravity did not just appear, they had a beginning. Let's now rewind the clock for billions of years ago to see how the black holes were formed for the first time, how the stars were faded, how gas clouds were burning, and how the universe created monsters from light and matter. Birth and darkness. Black holes over the tomb of the stars. And as every grave, she has her own story about how she was dug. The most common black holes, star masses, are formed when a star produces fuel many times more massive than our sun. Without the pressure necessary to hold the nucleus, gravity takes over, and perirocolophane's protective seconds. All this matter is burning at one point. This collapse can provoke a supernova. The explosion is so bright that it overshadows a whole galaxy. What remains after him is a black hole, 
but some black holes did not form from the stars at all. In the early universe there was no time to live and die. Instead, the gigantic clouds of hydrogen gas, hundreds of thousands of times higher than the mass of our sun, were shocked directly under the influence of their own gravity. Such black holes are called the black holes of direct collapse. And they, perhaps, were those seminins from which the supermassive, which we see in the centres of galaxies, grew. These seeds fed with gas streams permeating the space web, a vast network of matter connecting the galaxies like a spider web. These streams are not a walk, hidden in the Zerlo growing black hole contributes to its growth. In 2020, astronomers even watched a black hole surrounded by six galaxies. All of them were entangled in such a cosmic web. A billion years ago it was real madness. Another riddle is how some black holes have become so large and so quickly. Just 900 million years after the Big Bang, we have already discovered black holes with billions of solar masses. How to relax so quickly? Cosmic web may be the key to unravelling. This is how to watch a baby weighing 90 kladim. One astronomer said, we need to understand how they grow so fast. Now that we observed the birth of black holes of the freezing stars of the Kolpsal gas, let's see what is happening when they begin to interact with the universe surrounding them. Because black holes do not just sit still in space. They attract, twist, tear everything to pieces, and from time to time they find themselves in dangerous proximity to the planet's stars. In the next part of our journey, we will explore the stormy dance between black holes and objects that turn out to be too close, sometimes with fatal consequences. Galactic absorptions, black holes, they are not hunters, but if something comes too close, they did not hesitate to devour it. One of the most cruel things that a black hole can do is to tear the star into pieces. This is called tidal destruction. When the star approaches a black hole, gravity pulls stronger this side, which is closer to the hole than the one next, stretching the star in the noodles of hot gas. This process is called with adjustment. Half of the mass of the star may fall into the black hole. The rest is thrown out in a giant outbreak. We have actually seen how this happens from a distance of 665 million light years. What about planets? Can the Earth be absorbed in a black hole? Technically, yes. But the chances are so small that you should not lose a dream because of this. The space is huge, and the planets are small. Most black holes are far away and their gravity does not extend through the galaxies. But in dense star clusters where the stars are tightly packed, small black holes can roam, possibly capturing the planets that pass too close. They would become wandering worlds locked in an eternal orbit around an invisible owner. We also saw black holes in double systems of pairs of stars where one of them is a black hole. These systems help us study black holes because we can observe their impact on our companion. The first discovered black hole, Cygnus X1, is in such a pair. We cannot see a black hole directly, but we know that it is there. Her gravity attracts the substance to its partner star, heating it from the Lessigan rays. Finally, the question arises of entire galaxies. Do the whole galaxies stroke black holes? Not really. They are powerful, but small compared to galaxies. Even the largest ultramassive black holes make up only a few percent of the mass of their galaxy. Instead of absorbing their master, they influence it, determining how and when the stars form. During the confluence of the black holes, the ripples in space can also merge. Gravitational waves that we have just begun to detect. The black hole teaches us that the universe does not play according to our rules. Brian Green. 
we have already seen how black holes can break the stars and capture entire planets. But despite their thirst, these objects rarely absorb more than they reject. Black holes also erupt matter with incredible speed, amazingly changing their environment. And this leads us to a question that has haunted scientists for several decades. Do black holes really absorb galaxies or is there something completely different? In the next chapter we will consider in detail what happens when black holes and galaxies grow sides and what does this speak of space balance? Cosmic consumption. This is an impressive picture. A whole galaxy is swallowed by a black hole. Stars and planets fall like water in a sewer. But in reality everything happens differently. First of all, the difference in size is huge. Over a massive black hole in the centre of the galaxy can weigh billions of times more than our sun. But even in this case, it is only an insignificant fraction of the mass of the galaxy, less than zero as many as one percent. Most of the galaxy consists of stars, dust and dark matter scattered into hundreds of thousands of light years. Black holes are huge but colossal galaxies. Instead of absorbing galaxies, black holes mainly regulate them. Nearing with gas, they lower a huge amount of energy. This outflow, often the shape of a chip or winds, can prevent nearby gas to cool and form new stars. It is like a thermostat that prevents overheating of the galaxies. This effect, called the back of AGN, actually determines the growth of galaxies. As one scientist said, black holes do not destroy the galaxies and not sculpt them. But something more dynamic happens. When the galaxies collide, their black holes move to meet each other in a gravitational dance. Grouts of years, they twist in spirals inside, ultimately merging in the last burst of gravitational waves. These events are rare, but we have already discovered several of them with the help of observatories, such as a league. This shows us that although the galaxies are not absorbed, their black holes can merge into even larger ones. Another turn, not all matter falling on a black hole is absorbed. Part of it is thrown out. When matter faces it too quickly, it heats up and forms powerful jets of radiation and particles some of which move at almost the speed of light. These jets can extend into thousands of light years, pushing gas from the centre of the galaxy. Thus, in many respects, black holes are more like space engines than a cosmic vacuum. Galaxies do not fall into black holes. Black holes arise in their centres and forks. So, the black holes, the not those eater of the galaxy that we were once afraid of, they form and direct, they absorb. But this is still a mystery to us. What happens inside these gravitational monsters? For a long time we believed that no one could know this. But new technologies, new telescopes and bold modelling change this. Let's now come to the edge closer than ever before. Because even if we ourselves cannot penetrate the intracretric hole, science can. With new technologies we can learn more about the secrets of black holes than ever before. And who knows, maybe one day we will find a way to look inside. But for now, we can only imagine what lies beyond the veil, the unknowable, the mysterious heart of a black hole. <laughs>